So here's what we're gonna we're gonna run. Um, we're not gonna take bleed out. We're gonna take if it bleeds. That allows us to hit you guys. If you're new to this boss, okay, uh, which most of you shouldn't be new to this boss. If you're new to this boss, this is all about stunning, okay? The epic tunes. Stunning or killing the matchman before it lights the tank. It will go last. You have your entire team's round to stun or kill the matchman so it doesn't light the tank, which will go boom and crush your team. Uh, the way to do this is to get rid of that matchman and then focus the tank. And that's it. Because if you kill any of the other brigands, they just respawn with full health the next turn anyway. So you basically just have to take the brunt of the damage the, that the brigands deal. One of them's going to be shooting AoE. A couple of them are going to be stabbing, probably. Uh, and probably hitting the front line really hard or going for one of the backline characters. That is why we are wearing uh, plus dodge on our heels as well as the Junius. My hope is that we've got enough damage buff now on the Falconer that she can make this really efficient by just killing the matchman and that we have the accuracy on it that she'll hit it every time. If not, we have we have Iron Swan on the front line to go there and Hound's Rush will go there. So all things going well, we kill the matchman, we mark the tank, and we just lay damage into the tank as hard as possible every single turn. We just have to hope that the heals with Undead get there. Because the last time we did this, we got two zero meme heals without the bleeds, thankfully. We had a Death's Door check that this Falconer almost died to. We got crit a few times because of the frontline uh, brigands. So we're a little bit traumatized from this one. This one is pretty tough. <sighs> the stuff you have to figure out on this fight is actually kind of nerve wracking for me. It's not the hardest fight in the world, but it's not the easiest either. We have a lot more potions this time, guys. So we should get some use out of that. We've also got two Aegis scales. So 29 health. Jesus. We can do 21 to 28. We can leave it at one HP right now. So with all the buffs, with all the buffs considered that we just put on her, the best I can do is get her to within one. We can't one hit this. Ninety percent chance to hit. Twenty three is a low roll. I should go here. This is a kill. If she has any chance to miss, I don't want I don't want to go here. It would have been better to open with blackjack. Let's just get the kill. Let's just get it dead. Twenty nine HP. Thirty to forty if it's marked. First shank. Excellent dodge. Double crit. Twenty-two. 
9 to 11, 80% chance. Damage is going to start adding up here. We're already half health here. Mark is gone. I think we use our first potion. <sighs> if I use my first potion, then we get a mark back on the tank. I think maybe we try an Iron Swan here. The problem is, the problem is, you guys, if this for any reason hits here and shuffles it back, we can't Iron Swan that. So we go here. And we Dog Treats again and we go with this Mark. I gotta get heals in now. So Undead's gotta play here. Undead's gotta do some really good heal action here. No crits yet. Ninety percent. We get a ninety percent, we get a guaranteed swan. What's up, Daft Punk? Twenty nine. Ten crit. She's death store close. Forty two. I'm really tempted to use a potion here just in case. 24. It's at 100 health, guys, out of 181. Twenty-three percent chance to crit. Twenty-one is a low roll. We lost our mark. The heels are landing. Ninety-three. It's about half health. There's the shuffle. Twenty nine. So what's up, lazy? I could potion here, and then we could go uh, damage mark 
Damage, damage. Potion is more dependable than a heal, but it's it's limited. We're at half health though. Twenty-four. There's a crit. That gives us a minute to get a heal in here. Hopefully. 16. That's 69 HP. We need a decent heal here. 26 undead. Another crit. It's at 57. Hold the move resist. Thank you. Forty-two! Uh, we can reset a mark now, or I can get heals in. I'm tempted to heal here. Mark lasts one more turn, let's bring this home. Sixteen. We're at forty one HP. Thirty four. Couple more rounds if we can just hold on here. Twenty six. Twenty two HP. Fourteen! It has eight HP! It's still marked with eight HP! Champion tank is down! That's the first time we got- we actually got shuffled, and it happened right after we killed the tank. I freaking love it. Okay. Torch next. and 
wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Take us home, undead. That a boy! <laughs> that a girl, actually. Hell yeah, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you kill the champion 16 pound brigand cannon. So, uh, yeah. This went so much differently than the last time we did this. The biggest change, in my opinion, was the heals showed up. Undead did a great job with the heals here. The second change was we brought six potions, okay? So, uh, Claire said something to me a while ago when she said, when you want to try to beat Pitch Black Dungeon, you want to go for champion bosses and PBD, you bring, you buy health potions. And yeah, that's, that is a, a huge deal. I think you have to have the wallet and the funds to buy the provisions, to buy the health potions, and it makes things a lot different. Um, I was a bit selective on when I used those potions, but it made it so much easier. We got a couple really nice rounds of crits, and we had a, a, a few rounds where we just got no crits, but when the crits hit, the efficacy was massive. We just got through it. I mean, we are we are done with this fight in half the time when we struggled through it the last time. So that one was pretty good. Gold says, satisfies the soul. Indeed. Well said, Gold. <laughs>